Yo, what's going on, guys? Shake and bake back, baby! And yeah, today uh, we are on my team, as always. And as you guys can see, there are some new cards. It is Throwback Thursday. Actually, some pretty good ones. Jerry Lucas, from when he had a monster year with the Kings, and uh, or actually the Royals then, but uh, it's got a Kings background to it. Pretty nice. The purple matches well with it. And then we also got a Clyde Drexler from the Rockets. A little bit older of him. And uh, yeah, still both pretty good cards. And uh, yeah, let's hope that... Maybe we can get one of them. That would be cool. I'm not really sure how much they're going for. I will show you guys the stats for them as I usually do and open up some packs every Thursday. But uh, yeah, let's go check and see if they're up on the block. It's actually a lot later than I usually open packs. So hopefully they are both up on the block already. I would hope, man. Eesh. All right, so we found Jerry Lucas and uh, his picture is very, very white. Oh my goodness. It's like they just there's like no color in it at all besides just white and a tiny bit of purple and uh, even a little bit of like gray on the outline. But yeah, he's actually a really nice player. I just was looking over his stats really quickly. 92 close, 86 for mid range, and then uh, 85 for the three ball. That is uh yeah, those are some nice stats, man. This is gonna be actually a pretty solid card. At a 92 overall, you kind of expected that. Obviously, his dunking stats are not very crazy. Passing is pretty good. Post control, not too bad. You probably won't be hitting those too often. But uh, the post consistency, not too bad. Uh, the rebounding, of course, 99. He averaged, like, I think someone said he averaged, like, 20 rebounds a game this year. So not really surprised that it would be 99 everything. It should be if he averaged, you know, 20-something boards. So, yeah, a, a monster card right there. Defense is looking pretty nice. It's got a, a decent uh, pass perception, which... As a big man, you want that when they're down low in the center position. So nobody can uh, sneak those easy passes by. But obviously, not too fast with 72 and 76. But he'll still get it done. A pretty solid card. 92 overall. That's a good throwback. Now let's check out the other throwback on the block. And that is actually the uh, Clyde Drexler. Let's see if we can find this really quickly. All right, let's see if we can find a Clyde Drexler. There are only two on the, on the block right now. Wow, I'm not paying that much for either of them. No way. The Clyde Drexler's got a mean mid-range at a 93 overall, and then a, a 90 for the moving off the dribble type stuff. 83 for the three ball. Pretty nice, man. Wow, that, those are some nice shooting stats. Obviously, his dunk won't be as good. At an 88, though, it's still really good. Wow. I wonder what drunk, like dunk packages he has and stuff like that. His layups are still really good. Passing vision. I'm hoping his, he has a pretty good steal, too. Or if not, that would uh, be a little disappointing. Let's hope his steal is good. His defense on ball, 90, 88, 85, 99. Pass perception is still, okay, 89, 82. Not as good as the uh, the pickpockets one. And I think we might even be getting some new rubies tomorrow. I know we're supposed to be getting the Adidas packs, but the uh, other rubies do expire on the third, which is tomorrow. So we could be looking at some new ones there, but that is the Clyde Drexler. Now let's go open up some packs and uh, yeah, let's feast, man. I would love one of those guys. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's open up these throwback Thursday packs and uh, I can even open up one with VC. I'm going to save the, uh, I still have some, some gift card money on my account, but I'm going to save that for a better day. Flip ball and we get a Paul Mills to start. Not what I'm looking for. Definitely not. But uh, yeah, I will be buying, I don't know, we'll do maybe 50, 60K. We'll see how these packs are. They're usually pretty bad, but it gives me a good opportunity to really just talk to you guys. And, uh, yeah, I, I know some of you guys really still like the pack opens. Killer Crossover is actually a, a pretty valuable one right there. But besides that, a doo-doo pack at the finest. But a couple things I do want to talk about. Of course, the uh, new patch came out for the Xbox. It was already out for the PS4 as we get Tony Allen, actually a pretty solid player. I wish we get a throwback of him or maybe, like, he should have, as I said, he should have been in the Steels collection. That would have been really nice. We do get a Blazer jersey, too. Maybe we're going to get a Clyde. I don't know. Maybe. You never know. We have gotten some good throwback Thursday packs this year. But talking about the patch on the Xbox, I, I'm not even, man, these packs, yeah. I've said before, don't open these packs. They're really not that great. But the patch that came to the Xbox is actually, I, I'm not sure if I like it or not. Because, uh, A, I'm knocking down every shot. I played a few games with the patch. I played one last night and a couple uh, just against the subscribers and stuff, you know. But, um. Every game I played, I shot over 70%. And we're just going to flip off for an Aaron Gordon and a contract. I like my contracts. And a Kings jersey. Hey, where's Jerry Lucas? Come on, we've gotten Portland jerseys, Kings jerseys, but no actual good throwbacks from their teams. Come on, man. It would be nice if we could get a really good throwback pull and kind of justify me opening packs pretty much every week just in case we get one. And uh, that Nick Cathalis will not do the job right there. But yeah, I'm not really sure if I like the patch or not because now when I go in line, People are going to be hitting all the shots that I usually, I usually let people, you know, shoot. Let's flip all and get a Gorgie Deng. And we do get a racer too. Racer is a solid 
a solid, uh, a solid badge, as I'm trying to say. I kind of wish they went back to the three signature skill style. I kind of hope they do that for next year. Just kind of random. I don't know. It was fun. It was creative. And it made you actually, you know, think about equipping badges and stuff. Instead of this year where you just, hey, slap on as many as you can, you know. And uh, I don't know. Maybe that, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm indifferent on that. I actually did a little podcast with some guys and talked about 2K and lock codes and things like that. I'll probably, oh, wow. I don't have any space in my auctions. Oh, no. I will probably um, post that video on Twitter, and uh, you guys can go check it out on there. But uh, it was a long podcast. We talked for like an hour. We still will open packs because we've got, we've got no space in our auctions. But I'll just, I'll quick sell some things. Let's flip all and get another silver player, Alan Anderson. We do get legs plus three, though. That is actually uh, pretty, I'm just going to quick sell him. Just get him out of here. We still have yet to get a throwback player. We didn't even, I don't even think we got one last week. I really don't. It was pretty rough. Another ass pack. We, we, we get Big Baby, who last night was uh, flopping, trying to defend uh, Chris Paul, who got shoved by Chris Kamen. And it was pretty, uh, oh, man, I, I'm out of space. But it, it was pretty, like, like blatant. Like, nobody was around Chris Paul. He stole a rebound from Chris Kamen. And then all of a sudden, Kamen just comes over when the play is pretty much dead and just pushes him in the back. Like, that was crazy. Yeah, I, I think he got, like, a flagrant foul for that. But... Yeah, just kind of random. I don't know. Let's keep it going. Let's keep opening the packs. We might have a gold player here if we don't get trolled. We do. Who's our gold player? It's Josh Smith. Okay. 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 <laughs> Not really what I'm uh, looking for out of my, my players. I don't know if Sam Person goes for a lot. See, now I'm at the point where I'm not sure which one of these guys go for a little bit. I know Gorgie Dang, I don't think he goes for anything. But uh, these jerseys, I, could, I think I could sell these for a little bit. So why don't we send these back to the team? We got to get rid of something. Let's get rid of these things. These things, all right, those don't really sell for anything. We also got the uh, Warriors Christmas jerseys. Wish they kind of took these out of the pack rotation. Because really, nobody needs these now. And uh, I know some guys still need them. But that would give value to jerseys if you had time jerseys throughout the year. Kind of like they did in 2K13. But yeah, let's keep opening a few more packs. We have gotten doo-doo. I think maybe two gold players, and they were both like 82 overalls. Still no throwbacks, and oh my goodness! You got me hyped. Ah. Where's the troll music? It's gotta be playing by now, man. Damn. Ah, oh my goodness. Yeah. See, the, 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 why did they not remove Andre Mill? I don't understand that. I know they said, you know, they removed, you know, Dwayne Wade and the other guys because of the data showing, you know, that um that he's been pulled a lot. And I, I, I don't agree. I don't know, man. I guess maybe that's what the data has shown. But phew, I, it, how do we not get Andre Miller removed? I feel like he's been pulled so much, man. Damn. That literally, I know Andre Miller. I saw pictures earlier of guys tweeting me who got him on Twitter. He only goes for literally a thousand MT. We will open up uh, two more packs. Two more. Let's go. Two more. Let's try it out. Maybe we can get another throwback. No. They're all right. We do get post lockdown defender. That's actually pretty decent. Let's, uh, yeah, definitely not a fan of Andre Miller. And Jay Crowder will be our last pack. I'm not opening any more of these terrible things. I just like to open them up for you guys to talk and chat. And, yeah, the playoffs are coming up. I got to say, Jay Crowder, my man, I love him. Celtics are going to make the playoffs, baby. They are right on the verge of making it. They've been in the eighth seed. I think they might be a half game back right now, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not really too sure with that. They are definitely sticking with it. I still have a whole bunch of players I need to sell. Hopefully, uh, I can sell this Karl Malone for a little bit and Isaiah for a little bit. But, man, Andre Miller out of everything, I'm just going to throw him up for 500 I, I, I know that's even less than quick sell. I'm going to do a quick giveaway. But, uh, yeah, I just... Uh, this is my point here. Look at this. They're Andre Millers. They're going to be Andre Millers up for... 2,000, 2,000, like this card goes for nothing, 2,000, 1,600 MT, it's pretty much a quick sell, so yeah, I threw them up for 500, hopefully someone gets a giveaway and uh, enjoys their little free Andre Miller, but um, yeah, that is, wow, that is not what I wanted to do, man, I wanted to get one of the new ones, we did not, I don't recommend opening these packs, but I usually show them to you guys just because you guys see how bad they are, and I get to talk some basketball, I will be talking more NBA basketball as we get closer to playoffs we are about 10 days from the start go Celtics baby we need to finish this but uh, yeah I hope you guys did enjoy more gameplays more pack elements coming soon I'll probably test the waters with some of the Adidas packs tomorrow just to show you guys if they're good if they're bad they don't contain Onyx players which we, they were supposed to and we were told but um, yeah 
I will probably open some of those tomorrow, but uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Another pack opening. We didn't get anything. That's why I really don't enjoy pack opens this year. Like, they're pretty crappy. We don't get shit. Every now and then we do, though. When we get, like, Dr. J, that's that's fun. Trust me, that that made my uh, my year for Onyx packs. But, yeah, I, I, still, I, don't, I still don't believe that we got that card. So, yeah, hope you guys did enjoy. And, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in as always, man. I really do appreciate the support and everything. And everybody who bought a T-shirt, man, T-shirts are coming out in a couple weeks. They should be at your doors. We had over 108 people buy T-shirts. That is crazy, man. Absolutely crazy. And, uh, yeah. I, I, I can't thank you guys enough, man. I, I hope to put some more out soon, and uh, yeah, I definitely will put some more out soon. New designs, new things like that. Maybe even a, bl a Blame Ronnie shirt. I kind of want to do that, but uh, <laughs> I might get a little upset at that. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. I'm doing my outro like six times now, but uh, yeah, that's it. Peace.